When I get back, I'll have a word with Tom. He's really pissed me off. It's locked. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Goku, you're... What the fuck? Why? Who's sick? Okay, what you got? Fatigue. 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 And this nigga got a headache. Okay, so. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven fatigues. Aggravating. How many do I have in my bag already? I got four. healing folks Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? You don't have to worry about me, Dr. Reed. I am here to assist you, not to be a burden. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. 
I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Oh, sweet girl. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Okay, who the hell else is not feeling good? Who the hell else wants some of this medicine? I think the guy over here was feeling a little tired. Yep, he's tired. That nigga ain't feeling that great. Oh, let me go in behind you. Let me in, no! I'm sorry you entered. I cannot enter. I understand you must be very angry about this unfair situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. How can I do that? I hope that Where is that at in the hospital? I want to be nosy. Okay, you sick, right? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. I don't give a damn. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. You don't mind if I search your pockets, do you, sir? I'm gonna you kill him. You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir. So it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. Yeah, I'm finna kill him. I've been wanting to kill him for the longest anyways. I just wasn't sure how I should, if I should do it. Uh, with the situation arising. But I, I think I want to kill him. I gotta figure out what's the best way to do that. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Hmm. I can't mesmerize this. When I can fucking, I'm finna get my shit up. 
I'm finna work on my damn mesmerized, bro. I'm finna kill his ass. I'm finna come back and kill him. It's over. It's a wrap, bro. I'm gonna give you this damn... I ain't even gonna give him no damn medicine. Fuck him. Goodbye, Mr. Serve my damn medicine. Fuck you. Taking them people's shits. Who else sick? Let me actually heal somebody that's worth healing. Okay, here we go. Thomas, whatever the fuck his name is. Yo, come here. Let me talk to you, bro. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet yeah, smiling inside, Dr. Reed. What's up, Salt? As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. She's good, he's good. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah, do you need any dangerous. medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. Mm. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. In fact, anyway. Goodbye, Milton. Yes, Jonathan. May I help you? I'll see you later. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Chilling, chilling. Do you Playing require this medical damn vampire game. I'm finna go and uh, get as back into the action. I, I was just make sure these people was okay before I leave. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Doctor Reed. Thank you. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no. That's unbecoming conduct. You're mistaken, Nurse Brannigan. To be forbidden to enter medical school because of your gender is one thing. To break hospital rules is another. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, I think that's everybody that's sick for right now, other than the guy with the headache. You make sure. Recovering. Recovering. Recovering, recovering. Milton is recovering. Recovering. 
recovering. Yeah, this nigga got a headache, but ain't shit I can do for him right now. And this piece of shit, I'm not healing him. He can die. A slow death. So, let me go. Get me some more points up. I'm gonna upgrade my stuff. And we finna kill him when I get back. But I'm ready. Right now, I got other business to attend to. Oh, it's cold. It's chilly. I think I'm going out further when I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know, I know, so.
Are you all right, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They... They, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds. What's up, Tiga? They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker? This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. It's locked. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, okay, though cool he were dead, Yet no cool. shall he live. Have a good trip. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, <laughs> dust to dust. These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me. Yes, ma'am. This nigga ate my damn shit. One thing. One thing. His 
This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. She just is nosy as hell. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. Hmm. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Good person, Jonathan, and a young echo, a newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head, her mind shattered, and, and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, no Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Sure she goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh shit. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. 
I head back if I re- I shut up! <laughs> This man stunned me with his faith, his crucifix. This is not good news. I don't know where my phone is. I was gonna drop the link to that yes. fundraiser in there, in the what chat, is it that the you new want? one. It, well, I'm the sorry to one disturb one. you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. I know I yes, gotta uh, I know. do what I gotta do on there. I've forgotten what I wanted. I did not forget. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> And then I want to heat this up, but also, where like my phone at, though? You seem somewhat perturbed. I um, haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is it. Cold it is. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've told you once, this is a private concern. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. Hmm. I am here to mm. lighten the it's burden cold, of all yeah. God's creatures. And then I can't find my phone, can you Whatever call my phone? You tell me is between can't call my phone. Very well, Chris. Yeah, see, it looks As a lot better. A adamant. lot better. Open your heart, my no, son. Don't look dirty tell and mangy and stick it up. You. With whom do you wish to speak? Sorry. It looks good. Looks nice. Can you call my phone? No. Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It's out of the oven, cooling down so that it can be moved off the thing. Probably, Probably in the kitchen. She has been laid to rest. That's all you need to know. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? Big T! I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. Go. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I'm so sorry, Mary. 
I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and wait, live your wait. life in the way you want. Does it smell like strawberries? Uh, okay, can you eat on my food? That's what you smell like. Can you eat on my food? That's what you smell like. Okay. You smell like strawberries. Bro, move. Oh, yeah, I'll do a couple of minutes. You gotta eat a little bit. No, it's nice, strawberries. Uh-huh, good. Can you eat on my food? Yeah, you're like, I just mean... You look like my husband is about to go heat up my food okay, and grab my phone on the way back. Okay, I'm gonna grab your stuff. And probably check on the cookie because that's probably what you was going to do in the first place. Because okay, they were cooling down so that they could be cool enough to take off the uh, thing. Okay, so you, look like a yes, man. you look like my husband is about to go do that stuff. That's what you look like. Okay, babe. So, thank you. Okay, babe. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so he, like, repented or whatever the case may be. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Ain't messing with me. I was minding my business making my way downtown. I need to go to White Chapel too. Yeah, I need to go to White Chapel before I come on here. I need to go to this left hand side. I want to heal them folks. Cause they little with my ice cream, even though I'm cold already, which probably don't make much sense. But YOLO,
no spoon. Cool beans, cool beans. Biggest one possible. I hate them big ass spoons, bro. I like the little ones. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. You just rude as fuck. I still have your ass, I think. What do you plan to do, now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Toratea's death, with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. What about your house? My house is I'm going to, I didn't do it yet. Poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. Oh. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Going well until because they not y'all not Dorothea like not y'all but certain people be sorely missed. It's like well I let KJ better explain it. But, oh, okay, well I'll explain it because he wants me to explain it. But basically, it's like it seemed like not everybody is here for the support. It seemed like some people is just here for like the little points or something. Or like whatever it's like they're not coming to the streams like they should so we going to like probably take the points away for a while and until we like rebuild properly um, I regret it too I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to mm -hmm. Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Mm -hmm. Then you mm -hmm. made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did yeah. was talk to Nurse Crane. 
I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Please, take this. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. You again? What do you want this time? No, I'm Goodbye, not saving him either. Oh, I'm not feeling him. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I prefer you take a look at my stuff. I'd rather be rich and sick than the country. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up boop, to this stuff. Nobody will be fool enough to stand against a wet boot, boy. Well, right now it'll just be like little random games. Cause I'm waiting for the uh, the new Like a Dragon to come out in February. Cause that's gonna be like the thing when that comes out. Also, they have one more uh, Like a Dragon coming out this year too. Uh, outside of the one in February. And I'm waiting for that cause that's Keto's story about what happened to him after he was supposed to like vanish from the face of the fucking earth. So I'm excited to play that. So, those are definitely in the lineup uh, once they come out. Uh, right now, uh, it's more or less just kind of random. Like, I picked up this game 
and I was like, oh, well, let's see, it might be interesting, and so far it's been pretty okay, so I might stick with it, see it through. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Yes, they are. Um, you could actually look it up in the uh, PlayStation Store right now. I don't know about games, the, uh, the Xbox Store, but I know I've definitely seen it in PlayStation Store. Um... Like a dragon, Ichi. It's about something like that. Just just type, start typing in like like a dragon, and then the, it'll come up. But it starts with an I, and then there's another one coming out too. And it's basically like I said, it's it's supposed to be Kiru story. So it's like two different like a dragons coming out this year, and then there's another one that they're coming out in 2024, on top of the two that's coming out this year. This is the lady that was fatigued. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I worry about them in case bad things happen. Hold on, y'all. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. I'm gonna look it up, Salt, and see. Yeah, actually, I have Tiga. Uh, that's also an option.
you watching Chopped? You watching my show? I always told my dad I was gonna go on there and I never went on there. I do want to go on there one day, though. Uh huh. I'm telling you, I could win. I really wish they still had that other one uh, going um, with the sabotages. Um, his other show. I forgot the name of that shit. That's the one I really wanted to get on, because I'm like, oh, I fucked somebody up on that shit, bro. Tell Percy to shave that shit. I'm tell no, fuck no. Telling Percy to shave fire. Telling Percy to save that shit. No, you say that shit. I just did. You said. No. Say shit fire. You say shit fire. Shut up, KJ. I got my nerves. Shit fire. Oh, um, yeah, no, you you saving that shit, bro. You're getting that shit cut all the way. Like, I am literally gonna tell Percy who's teaming up. I need a fucking gun. Okay, I'm back, y'all. What the hell is that? Should have been hunting that thing and not me. Locked, all right.
damn nurse crane, you done turned to one of them things. Oh, did I fucking die, bro? That's bullshit.
have this thirst for blood. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked.
Remember you. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me, chose me. As shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly this has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the servant of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one.
Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Not under my watch, Nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Jonathan, my sincere condolences for your loss. Your kindness is much appreciated, my lady. Is there anything you require? I... I spied my mother at the funeral. Have you ever revealed yourself to a member of your family? No, Jonathan. And I'd advise you even from thinking about it. But what if I was close to someone and wished to tell them the truth? Fear, loathing, disgust. And then they will plead to be turned. They will see it as salvation. Then there's the risk of gaining the attention of vampire hunters.
Alright guys, I had to get myself settled. Turn the heat up a little bit, because I was a little cold. Beef here. Are we then condemned to lie to those we love? We are creatures of deception, my friend. But this is more for their sake than ours. Are we condemned to attend the funerals of all we love? Dying is the final act of life, Jonathan. Present company excluded. Accepted. I don't know what to expect. Am I cursed to an eternity of solitude? With time, we Ekon tend to go into isolation. If we survive long enough, that is. As a practitioner of the medical sciences, I'm prepared for the death of loved ones. But mourning in the shadows, deprived of sharing one's grief. We are no longer a part of the circle of life and death. We are undead, my friend, and so we are outcasts. Goodbye, my lady. Until we meet again. If there's anything I can do for you... Goodbye, my lady. Until we meet again.
Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I will see you later. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. I am not responsible for everything bad that has happened. For England, but England won't fight. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. continues. Disgust on every street corner. A daily routine. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Goodbye, Milton. Shall prevail. Violence breeds more violence. We are our city's final hope. Ah, 
God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. 